Okay, good morning, students. Hope the screen is visible. The PDF what I have shared is visible for you. Yes, sir. Thank you. So in the last class, we were discussing about the discrete time elementary signals, and we have gone through what is unit step sequence. Unit step sequence is nothing but it is having an amplitude one at each of the instance of time starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. up to infinity. So from 0 to infinity, you are having the amplitude, which is a constant that is nothing but equal to 1. That is represented by u of n. And for all other instance of time, that is for negative instance of time, you don't have any signal. That is for otherwise, it is equal to 0. Now, coming to the second one, unit impulse sequence. Draw this graph. Unit impulse sequence. Note it down. Unit impulse sequence. As I told you in the earlier version, that is in the continuous time version, it is defined only for a peculiar instant of time. Here also, as you can see, this del function, that is del of n, it is defined only for n equal to 0. So that is why it is known as impulse. Impulse is only defined at n equal to 0, just like del of t. So there is no difference between del of t and del of n. It is defined only at the origin. For all, for all other instance of time, its value is 0. So otherwise, the signal is not defined. So that is what is known as impulse sequence. Draw it. Take down the figure, the definition. The definition is that it is defined only for n equal to 0 and its value is 1. Oh, that's right. For all other instance of time, it is 0. So this is known as discrete impulse sequence, okay, or unit impulse sequence. Why it is known as unit? Because its amplitude is one. If its amplitude is not one, then we can't put unit over there. We should uh, specify only like impulse sequence. Okay. If you are specifying like unit impulse sequence, then it's understood that its amplitude is one. Have you taken down? Now going to the third graph or the third elementary discrete sequence, it is known as discrete time unit RAM sequence. Discrete time unit RAM sequence. Here also, is represented as r of n instead of putting r of t as in the continuous version in the discrete version we will be putting r of n the value of r of n is equal to n which means whatever you are plotting in the x-axis the value is same in the y-axis so at n equal to 0 you have the value 0 at n equal to 1 you will have a amplitude 1 at n equal to 2 you are having an amplitude 2 like that it will continue till infinity so it is starting from 0 and ending at infinity again it is defined only for 0 and positive instance of time for all other values means for all other negative values n less than 0 the value of ram signal is not defined or it is 0 Next is, what was the fourth case? It is discrete time sinusoidal signal. Fourth one you write, I will share the screen shortly. Discrete time sinusoidal signal. Just like the continuous time version, will you be able to Interpret the equation. 
same as this in i mean uh, continuous time version will you be able to put that sinus order signal in terms of an equation is defined as x of n equal to a cos omega not n plus phi a cos omega not n plus phi here while writing omega you should be very careful it is not up to you it is represented as Ohm. So a cos or a sine. It can be a sine or a cos. Okay, because the sinusoidal waveform is nothing but a shifted version of sine waveform. So you can represent it in terms of cos or it can be represented in terms of sine because the shape is going to be same. Only some sort of shifting is happening. Otherwise, it is same. I'll share the screen shortly. <laughs> <laughs> 